today's video, I'm going to take on the challenge of building one of the biggest mocks I've ever created, the city of Merlopia, but little did I know how hard this was actually going to be. <laughs> So after over a year of building Ninjago mocks, I finally caught up and am at Seabound, the last season that's come out so far. What set should I build? So after doing a ton of research, re-watching the season, I finally came up with these three options. I could build Cube Wojira, which would be epic. Second, I could create a chase through Ninjago City with Kalmar, Little Nelson, Kai, maybe a drawbridge. And third, I could build the City of Merlopia, a huge underwater city that the ninjas go to. So they all sounded fun and I didn't know quite which one to do. So I asked you guys, I made a community poll. The city of Merlopia went through the roof. It got 70% of the votes. Now I knew what I was going to build. So we're going to start off with the characters. So the two custom characters I'm going to build here are Gripe, the green snake guy, and King Trimar. So for Gripe, I got a moray guard and painted his head green. Then I used a skull sorcerer's body and it looked pretty epic. So here's the problem. I want King Trimar and Prince Kalmar both in the set, but I only have one one Kalmar minifigure. I'm gonna get a pixel minifigure, another Prince Kalmar. Prince Kalmar is such a rare minifigure to get your hands on. I had to spend like 10 bucks on him. Now I had two Kalmars. So in order to make these characters look like they do in the show, I'm going to have my sister custom paint them. So while my sister is painting them, I'm going to start working on the ninjas. So I'm gonna put the whole team that goes under the water, Zane, Lloyd, Jay, and Nia, and Pixel, and Nia's mom, Maya and I'm going to give Maya a cookie. Don't ask, if you know, you know. I'm going to add two more guards and um, the brother dude, Bentho. Bentho Ma. So now my sister's done painting. Prince Kalmar looks so good with these new painted eyes and I definitely recommend you guys doing the same. And for Prince Trimar, she painted the crown on his head, painted his eyes. I also had her paint a red trident and a blue trident. The characters are complete. Now it's time to move on to Merlopia. Oh. Oh, this is gonna be hard. So after spending literally a whole entire day working on this, it needed to be destroyed. Okay, it didn't look awful, but this is just not what I want people to look at. In my brain, this is what I was thinking. This is why Lego is stupid. <laughs> Ah! But I didn't. Sometimes when you're building Lego, the way to know if something doesn't look good is if you look at it and it doesn't look good. So we're gonna try to rethink this Merlopia. I'm 102% sure that's not how you spell Merlopia. So now that I have the blueprints for Merlopia here, we can start building on it again. So we're going to start with the main section here. So I built a rock pillar. Now it's time to build a giant clam-shaped building on top of this. Lego is bricks. Huh, it doesn't... It doesn't work like that. We're gonna do it. So I used teal track pieces to go along the bottom. I added a whole bunch of little one by one clips to the bottom of it in gold. I put another one on top and started building a wall along it, dotted with a bunch of these windows. It looked cool, but I need to go all the way in. So I built it double the size. I got two more track pieces, a whole bunch more gold clips, a whole bunch more windows, and made it double the size. This was going to be huge. I flipped it around and started working on the interior. I made a huge throne room and I used chi pieces to make nice pillars. I also added some stone archways to the outside. So the next story of this is a dining room. This room was much simpler than the story beneath it. Put three big windows on it and then for the very top I built, it's not even a room. I used a bunch of curved pieces, some little windows. Looks pretty dope. I have a whole bin full of these curved heel claw pieces. I got all those out and started putting them along the rim of this clam and it makes it look way way better and more like a clam it's time to move on to the two side builds the one on the left i wanted to make kalmar's room i built a rock structure up with another arch going to a smaller rock pillar on the smaller rock pillar i added a dope cannon i built kalmar's room on top of that it's basically gold trim a big round window teal and the main color is black beneath his room i put a secret scroll room i didn't realize this until i was done building but kalmar can't actually fit into his own room. Whoops. 
The right build is basically the same as the left build. And then you have a blacksmith shop. I built this whole thing using a huge round window. It just did not look good. Mm, I, I broke it. I'm sorry, I broke it. This time I got two oval sized windows. And this time it turned out way, way better. And I was really happy with the end result. So on the bottom of this, it started working on a bit of a function where the doors swing open when you push the shark forward. So this is actually really scary. Watch this. Let's hope you like it. Let's start out with the characters. We've got 12 characters in this mock. King Trimar, Prince Kalmar, Benthomar, Grite, two Moray guards, Maya, Nia, Pixel, Lloyd, Jay, and Zane, all here to make this set look really alive. So down at the ends here, we've got two firing cannons. This building over here is Kalmar's room, and on the bottom floor, you have a scroll room with a bunch of scrolls, a potion. On the other side here, we've got the blacksmith shop where they make a whole bunch of tri on the bottom level though, you can put a shark down here and open up this door and the shark pops out and this is the palace. If we turn it around, we have a archery practice course for Benthamar. Next floor is the throne room. You can sit King Trimar down. Last floor, it's a dining hall where you've got two chairs, a table full of delicious Lego food. Mm. So the facade of this building is just packed full of detail. So Merlopia was super duper fun to design and build and I want to share that same experience with you guys. Go to BrickLegends.com or to the link in the description. You can buy the digital instructions for this and build it yourself. And guess what? It's half off from now until the 25th of May. With that being said, peace out.